All right, now, into the oven we go, hello. This is called broken noodle lasagna. You can do a, a zucchini lasagna. You can do all kinds of things in our everyday pan from Le Creuset. Now, this is what we call a pre-market launch. During the month of September, this is only available at QVC, only available here. Ordinarily, priced at $198, we're $18 and two pennies less. Let me turn these steaks over because they are getting nice and seared and beautiful. Don't miss out on these because what we want is that nice sear, that Maillard effect on the steak, and then I'm going to remove these from the heat because I'm going to build a little sauce. Now, I have mushrooms in the bottom of this pan. I have garlic and shallots. Now, this is a black enamel coating. This is not a non-stick coating, but the more you use this, the more seasoned it becomes. We're going, <coughs> pardon me, we're going to add a little butter to this and a little red wine, and we'll make a little sauce. In the meantime, let's welcome in Greg Shockley. He is our representative from Le Creuset, joining us live via Skype. Greg, always good to see you, sir. How are you? I'm doing great, David. How are you doing? It, it looks awesome. Love that steak. I tell you what, these steaks look marvelous, and this everyday pan is beautiful. How big is the pan, Greg? So we've got three and a half quart capacity. Now, the great thing, if you're like me, you know, nine times out of ten, I'm reaching for my skillet or my or my fry pan in the kitchen. Now, you've got the best of both worlds right now. You've got three and a half quart capacity. You've got a deeper vessel right here. So if you want to cook something with sauces in there, it's not going to come flying out. But, David, the most importantly, you're getting that heat retention that only comes with cast iron. And as you pointed out, too, don't think the inside of here is unseasoned cast iron. This is our this is our enamel coating on the inside, the black. And I love the black that we did on the inside here. That just contrast of colors. It just makes all of the colors on the outside pop. But the performance is absolutely awesome. Now, David, whether you're cooking a steak or whether you're cooking these amazing smash burgers like I've got right here, the great thing about the cast iron is you get that perfect sear, that caramelization on your proteins and your vegetables that really help create the great flavors. Now, we have a beautiful array of colors, but not a lot of these left to go around. Now, Greg, That's we right. had this on the air. We launched it on... Sunday. On the 3rd of September. That's Only right. been on one time, and already 1,800 have been ordered. We're down to final quantities, and these are the colors I have left. I have this in white, which we... I have 12 left in white. Okay, now this color is called meringue. Fewer than 125. This is Marseille, named after the, and named after the southern port city of France. Pardon me. Only 100 remain here. Here's cerise, the French uh, word for cherry. 190 and artichoke. 200 remain in the artichoke. Now, ordinarily, this would be <clears throat> $198 at retail. This is not available anywhere else right now, but QVC. We have the pre-market launch. Now, Greg, we're going to shoot down inside this upside down apple cake right. because look at this. There's oh no gosh, sticking. I love, love that. You know what? The, the black enamel on the inside, it's that easy release. So, whether you're doing something that's a little more stubborn, whether you're doing something, you know, like the cake right there, it's going to come out perfectly. It's going to, you know, a little scrubbing if, if needed, a little wet towel. The cleanup is super simple. And that's important. You know, you want to make sure that you're not going to be spending all night cleaning up. But, David, the whole pan, you know, the everyday pan is just that. So whether you're cooking these amazing burgers, it's my favorite way to cook burgers is on cast iron because I love the crust on both sides. So I cook it about five minutes on each side and let it get nice and crispy on the outside, and, and you're done. But everything from your burgers to I've got cornbread, so great for baking. It gives that nice, even cook. It gives it wonderful flavor. So whether you're using breakfast items or your or your Tuesday night stir fry, David, this pan literally does everything. It's the pan that you can keep on your stovetop all the time and just be your go-to pan. Now, Greg, we talked about that broken noodle lasagna. Here's the filling oh, for the that. lasagna. <laughs> okay. Add in some stock to make it nice and moist. Then we're going to add in some ricotta cheese, some broken lasagna noodles. You could do whole wheat lasagna noodles if you wanted to. Here's that ricotta. I'm going to just spoon that in. Remember, with broken noodle lasagna, it's a matter of just distributing the ingredients. You don't have to be really That's pretty it. with it, right? Right. It's 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 almost idiot proof. Let's call it. Okay. So you can put it all together, 
pop it in the pan, pop it in the oven, and it's all just going to come out in one, you'll see, it'll come out in one solid piece there. So yeah. no skills necessary. Have fun with it. And then break up your lasagna noodles and put them in raw like this because they're going to they're going to bake off in the oven. So we're going to go ahead and pop these all over the top. Just cover the filling with them. If they overlap a little bit, that's no big deal. Right. And chop that up with a little sauce there so those, uh -huh. so those noodles don't get too, too dry. So you want that those noodles. That's what's great, too. A lot of people think that they have to <clears throat> pre-boil those noodles. Don't do it. Add more tomato sauce because let those noodles absorb that tomato sauce instead of water, right? The water's not going to taste like anything. The tomato sauce will. So it'll make it really that much better. And the stock will keep it nice and moist, too. Right. And David, you know, you're going in the oven for this, but if you want to cook on gas, if you want to cook on your induction burner, if you want to cook on electric, you can do that with this pan because it's cast iron. We've developed that way, so it's super versatile. And, you know, again, this is the pan, whether you're cooking this wonderful Cajun chicken. Like, I wish you could taste this Cajun chicken, David, because I, I, I know you would love this with oh, a piece of cornbread. Sounds amazing. But I'm a la I can get that perfect brownness that I want. So if I was using a normal skillet or... Or just you know an aluminum pan, I wouldn't be able to get nearly the results like I've got for this beautiful, beautiful golden brown chicken right here. And then we've got the sauce. So everything's in one dish, and this is the same way. You know, a lot of times with our Dutch ovens, this just doesn't have the lid. So pretend it's just a smaller, shorter Dutch oven, and you can treat it just like that without the lid. Now. I put a little bit of uh, parsley on top. That's ready for the oven. Now I need oh, to let yeah. you know white has sold out. Completely. So we'll take white away. No, not surprised. There we are. So white is gone. Now, if you want meringue, I have five dozen. Marseille, four, 36 left in Marseille. This is Cerise, 150, and the artichoke. Only 150 in the artichoke. We are going very quickly with this item, and we have a beautiful sauce here that we made for those steaks. Oh, I love it. And David, I really encourage people, whether it's steaks, whether it's chicken, any of your proteins, I love doing beef on here particularly. Like you said, a nice, thick steak. That heat retention that you get with the cast iron was what makes it so special that you can put your steak down. And in fact, one little hint, David, I don't even like to put any oil down, especially if I'm doing like a ribeye or anything, because they have mm -hmm. enough fat that it'll kind of render out. And that helps it get the crust. That's what I did with my burgers right here as well. So whether you're doing chicken, whether you're doing any of your other proteins, give it a shot on the cast iron and you'll really see a big difference on the caramelization, that browning, and that crispy crust on the outside that you want. I put a little black pepper on the lasagna. Why? Because I love it. All right, <laughs> why, so why we're all set and ready to go. Greg, this is going very quickly and getting very limited and you only have a couple right. weeks left of the price. That is if the colors hold out and I don't believe they're going to it. They're going to go pretty quickly. I doubt it. If you decide it. you want to get more than one of these, let me encourage you to go ahead and do that because with the holidays coming, you might want to do two side dishes on the side of the stove or in the oven. So we're ready to go there. Greg, always good to have you back, sir. Good. For Thanks, David. Thanks for having me. Nice to see you, buddy. Bye, guys. All right. We're going to continue now with another great item, this time from